Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Gel Like Poly Gel Demo and Review. I'm going to do an extension on my thumb nub. I've got some 91% isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to put some of that in my dampen dish. Oh, getting a little sloppy. And I've also got a cotton round that I'm going to clean my thumb with. My thumbnail, not my thumb, my thumbnail. I had a crack in this one and had a patch on it and decided to just go ahead and take it back um, and give this poly gel another whirl. You know, that's what I my interest was exactly right here, what we're doing today. So we have a nub, very nice, clean. I've got this white gel-like poly gel. I've got the little brush and the spatula. And I've got some new poppets that I bought. Um, and this one is measured to fit my thumb. I've already gone through them. There we go, side to side. You do want it to be a little big, not, you know, too big. Also got me one of those little clippies to hold it on. I'm going to use this Prep and Clean real quick on my nail. I am planning on wearing this for just as long as I can. I want to see how long it'll last. And so I want to prep that nail really good. If you don't have Prep and Clean and primer and stuff, just clean it with alcohol. I'm also going to be using this acid-free primer that I got from Sally's. And you have to be very, very careful with this. You don't want to get this on, you know, anywhere but just right on that nail bed. And I'm just going to do a couple little swipes here and let that dry. Now, here we go. I've got my alcohol and I've dipped my little spatula in it so that the poly gel doesn't stick so bad to it. I'm going to put that cap back on because, you know, I can't be trusted. Just sliding this down into the poppet. And now I'm going to clean off that end of the spatula because while I'm playing with the brush, I don't want to get that excess all over the place. I do dip my little brush into the alcohol and tap it on my napkin there. I don't want it floating in the, what they call slip solution or alcohol. I don't want it too wet. I just want to keep that brush wet so we don't have any sticky business going on. Now I have tried the poly gel once before. I did another video on it. It was my very first experience. I think I learned a little bit from it. Uh, you definitely want to get it thin, but not too thin. And keep in mind when you're playing with this, it's not going to cure until you cure it under the lamp. So you've got plenty of time to mess with it and form it the way you want. And um, I really do love that aspect of it. Um, you know, when you're working with acrylics, you don't have that time. So, pretty excited about this. I do spend quite a bit of time, and I didn't like go crazy speeding this up. This is like real time. Um, so, it is going to be a little bit longer of a video, but I wanted to show you the full deal. You know, my my second go with this and that way you can you know form an impression if this is if this was be something you would be interested in my interest like I said in the first video um, was being able to either cover up a nail that's cracked until it grows out or as a patch or to you know extend a nail that I have broken or decided to take back and I'm really liking that so you got to turn this thing on its side, flip it upside down, look at it, and just, you know, get it all the way up the sides and to the tip. And, you know, I'm trying to keep the end safe and not safe, straight. <laughs> That's the other S word. All right. I think we're ready to go. So I'm going to put this on my nail. I'm going to put it on and then slide it back towards the cuticle. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm just trying to get it to stick. I don't want to squish all of that gel-like out. Um, I did get some, some spillage, and you're going to get to see me uh, work on this for a bit because, like I said, you don't need to be in a rush. Um, like I told you earlier, I'm planning on wearing this for just as long as I can, so I wanted the overall look of it to be just as good as I could get it. So there we go. It's looking pretty good. I do look like I have a little bubble, but we're going to put the little clip on so that I can clean underneath the nail because it's really important to get up under there too. You're going to want to make sure that you've got this pulled away from your skin. 
it's okay for it to be, you know, on that whole nail or even kind of up under the nail a little bit. But you don't want it sticking to your skin, so take your time and get it smooth. And I am going around that clip to get to the sides where I'm seeing some more mess. Now, I do take this clip on and off. I'm just going to warn you, uh, I, I spend a lot of time messing with this um, because I want it to last. I want it to be good. So I'm going to take the clip off and do some sidewall cleaning up again because I don't want that to cure. Although, I can tell you that this stuff, and you'll see here in a little bit, files off like a dream. You can shape it really, really nicely. Um, it, it files even easier or better than my regular nail. It's just really easy to work with um, when it comes to the smoothing and filing. So, all right, we're going to put that clip back on again. I'm checking it out and flipping around. We're going to tap, tap, tap some more. <clears throat> I want this to be more thin. I don't really like a real thick nail or extension. Um, I didn't want it to be too much thicker than my normal natural nails as far as, you know, the overhang. So I'm really working on that, trying to make it, you know, just get it just right. And I'm going to take that clip off again and do just a little bit more tidying up. Because like I said, I really didn't want to cure this under the lamp. I'm making sure that it's positioned right and that I'm happy with it before I go doing this cure. And here we go. We're going to cure it. I'm curing mine under an LED lamp for 60 seconds times 4. And I flip my nail each time like I do. And I got a little bit on my skin. And we are going to pop this off, but I cured it for 60 seconds and then flipped my nail upside down 60 seconds, flipped it back 60 seconds, and then back again 60 seconds. Look at that. I'm telling you, I am really, really happy with it. Now, I do have a little bit of filing I'm going to have to do. Like I said, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> um, um, look how easy it, I mean, it's just easy. I'm really enjoying that. Um, I do, off camera, I do break out my e-file around the cuticle area because I have one spot over on one side that's just, it was making me crazy. You can see it right there. Um, it's, you know, but that's why I, one of the reasons why I got an e-file is because I wanted to be able to get up in the corners like that. So, I am super excited to have this product. Um, I just had no idea what a game changer was going to be. Um, I have worn this for, um, now that I'm doing my voiceover, I've worn this for a few days and it's still holding up just wonderfully. I am buffing the top off because I am going to um, paint it. You know, I'm going to be painting polishes over it. So I want the polish to stick. So I am kind of buffing that just a little bit. I'm not using the rough grit. I'm just using kind of the buffy side. The buffy side of it. Sorry, I'm out of frame, but I was trying to compare, like, lengths to my other nail because <laughs> I want it to look as natural as I can. Um, I've got my Germanicure little cuticle tool out, and I'm going to try to file because that's basically what this is. It's like a pointy file, and I'm just kind of running it around the edge to get some of that excess off and to smooth it out to where it's just not so bulky or, you know, it doesn't jump out at you. I don't want it to be real noticeable. I do plan on taking my e-file over. And that when I take this manicure off that I'm wearing, um, I'm going to run the e-file over the whole nail and see if I can thin it out just a little bit more. Um, you know, this is a learning process. And I, I really want to get this down because, like I said, I have, I have a major interest in this stuff. Um, not just for me and my onesie twosies that I plan on doing, but you never know. I might want to rock some extensions and, you know, swatch some pretty polishes on really long nails when my nails are shorter. So I think that that would be really, really cool to be able to do that with this. 
Now this white is pretty white. I mean, it doesn't look like my natural nail, but this stuff comes in so many different colors that, you know, I've seen clear, light pink, pink, white, beige, tan, uh, you know, so it's, it's pretty neat. And I am going up underneath that nail, trying to smooth that up underneath. You guys know how I feel about stuff being under my, under my nail. And I don't know that I get this totally cleaned up here on this video. I did um, clean it up the best I could. and uh, But like I said, I did take my e-file to it before I painted my nails and just cleaned up that one corner that I'm working on right now. It was uh, I was scared it was going to rub the skin and bug me. <laughs> so I wanted to you know, make it smooth. Really cool product, though. I really think it's... And gel-like is the only one I've tried so far. So I'm going to clean off this nail and cuticle area with some just some of that 91% alcohol. Just try to get it cleaned up. You can see I've still got that one little corner I'm talking about that I'm going to work on. And now I'm going to take some of my Baroness X cuticle cream and smear it around. But I think I did pretty good on the thickness. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It hasn't been feeling wobbly or anything and I can tell you what really surprised me was how natural it feels I don't feel like I've got like a fake nail on my thumb right there it's just really been cool you know because I really thought it was going to feel odd so I will leave a link down below where I got this gel like um I believe I got it off of Amazon but I am stoked. Love it, love it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about these products. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.